This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. Happy Friday everyone. I am here with another unboxing. This is a kit that I actually picked up quite a few weeks ago. It is Gnome for the Holidays and I bought this when Diamond Art Club did their Christmas kit release which was right at the end of October I believe. So it's been sat here for a little while with me not getting around to unbox it. Um, I, oh, where's my scissors? Harry the kitten had knocked my scissors off this chair where I'd prepared them. <laughs> so um, I wanted to get another Christmas release this year so that I will have it ready for next Christmas season because a lot of the shops don't bring out their releases until it's a little too late for me in terms of what I want to work on. Um, and I, I was umming and ahhing about whether to leave it a little bit longer but I thought, you know what, I've got points on my account, I'm going to get this one as a freebie on my points. If you don't know what I mean by that, Diamond Art Club has a rewards um, scheme. Couldn't think of the word there for a second. Um, and basically every time you make a purchase, you get points back on your account. So the standard is that you get 10% of your order value back in points on your account that you can then claim another time. If you're a Diamond tier member, you get 15% back. Um, and then when you've accumulated enough points that you want to use them, you just convert them into a voucher and apply that at checkout. And that's what I did. So I only paid for shipping and like a few pounds difference because you, if you claim more in a voucher than you actually spend, then um, you kind of lose that difference. So I go a little under. Anyways, so um, this is by Marjorie Sarnat. Um, and I don't have any of us by her, I don't think. And I was looking at it and I just, I don't know, there's something about gnomes. I do really quite like them. I've done a few gnomey type pieces now. And I just thought the colours in this were so beautiful that I would, I would have this. And this will be my Christmas project next year. It's a square kit, as you have probably noticed. And I'm just going to put the small sticker on the side of the box. So you always get a little small sticker with Diamond Art Club. I hope, by the way, that there isn't too much glare. There is going to be a little bit because I've sorted out some new lighting because I'm fed up of everything always being too dark in my videos. So I'm hoping that this is better, but apologies if there will be a little bit of glare on shiny bits from now on. I can't figure out a way to have good lighting and not have glare. If anyone's good at that stuff, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay, let me have a quick peek at my toolkit. Harry the kitten seems to be napping today. I know there are people who <laughs> who watch for him in my videos, um, but yeah, he's he's just gone over to his cat tree to have a snooze, so I don't think he's going to be gracing us with his presence. Hopefully that won't make too many people switch off. <laughs> um, so you get a roll of baggies, always helpful. You get a seven and four placer in the thin plastic multi-placers that are pretty decent. These have both got kind of scraggy bits of extra plastic on. It will happen sometimes, but what you can just do is take a nail file. It will file right down and then you'll have a nice smooth end again. I get a pen and matching comfort grip. It's a lovely sort of deep wine color. Oops. I get tweezers because this is a square kit. They are branded and they have a cover on the end because they are very sharp. Um, and yeah, you don't get these in round kits, but you do get them in every square kit. So I end up having loads of them. You get two plates of heart-shaped pink wax. It's a very decent pink wax. I actually use my own putty now, but back when I used to use this, one plate would still last me ages. If you're a heavy presser, it, it won't last you as long, but I reckon two plates would get the vast majority of people through every painting. You get some washi tape. I like that one. I've been getting a lot of darker ones recently. This one's bright and sunny. You get a cover minder. Now this one, yeah, I think I am missing the other magnet. And that happens sometimes. Um, it's actually one of the reasons why Diamond Art Club is gonna be phasing out cover minders soon because they were getting quite a lot of customer service inquiries from people whose magnets were um, 
we're not working for various reasons. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a problem because I have other cover minders. So when I want to use this cover minder, because I'm generally only using one at a time, I'll just borrow a magnet from one of those. And it's a sweet little dolphin. And then you get a tray. And it's got a little stopper to avoid diamonds falling out so easily. Oh, that's really jammed in. <laughs> okay. I have been looking forward to uh, having a look at this one, I have to say. It's very me with these colours and, and this sort of fun little gnome design. I've done a couple of Laurie Furnell's gnomes. She's another artist. I say she, I think that's a female Laurie, um, who Diamond Art Club licenses. And I've done, I did a gnome one last Christmas. I did a Halloween gnome. Um, I think that's it. Anyway, this is slightly different. I like it a lot. So, obligatory canvas stroke, because I always do this, because I love, love, love the material that Diamond Art Club uses for their canvases. It's called tarpaulin, and it's this really good sort of self-flattening, very malleable but sturdy canvas. And yeah, it is one of my absolute preferred ones to work on. So, inside there, I get a thank you for your purchase leaflet. Really useful information in here like tips and tricks and what's included and just step-by-step -step instructions. If you're new to diamond painting and you don't know what you're doing quite, this is gonna talk you through it. There's also a link to their VIP Facebook group, which is a great resource. And on the back, there's a couple of discount codes. So there's 10% off your next purchase. There is a 20% one-off code that you can use for your first purchase through their app, because they do have an app. Um, and I'll also just mention that if you have never purchased from Diamond Art Club before and you want to make a purchase, in the description box below, I do have my own discount code, which is CAT20, and that will give you 20% off your very first discount, off your very first order. I've said the word discount so many times, I've lost track of my words. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it is an affiliate code. So if you do use that, I would receive a small amount in commission. Um, but yeah, there's that. There are plenty of other codes out there. The main point is just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. You never need to. There are always, always, always discount codes available to you. Okay. Here's my sticker sheet and a nice closer picture of the image. Oh, I love it. I love blues and greens. <clears throat> so the colour palette straight away is very appealing to me and I love um, sort of abstracty type artwork um, and I think this like all these little spirals and things in the background or the patterns I think they're going to be so fun. So I've got 60 colours and let's see three of them are ABs, a green, a red and a white one because they have a DMC code under 150. And two of them are fairy dust drills, um, which are like a glitter effect drill. I'll, I'll have a quick peek through these in a minute and see if I can pick out at least the special drills to show you. <laughs> Look at all these. Why well, I say blues and greens? Actually, it's the greens that stand out more to me, but maybe that's just my eye. There's a lot of bluey greens <laughs> as well as blues and greens, if that makes sense. So there's some sort of turquoisey, tealy shades in there, and I always love teal. I don't know why, it's just one of my favourite colours. And then of course there's some brighter colours that are going to really pop out from these sections. So they'll be really fun and a bit of relief for in the blue and green as I'm going through it. Because I inevitably get a bit bored if I'm working on the same colour for too long. This is all a sticker. So this part I tend to keep to go in a logbook. And then the stickers I use when I'm kitting up. Oh, and I don't think I even said, it's 55.8 by 70.7 centimetres, which makes it a very sort of medium sized painting in terms of di what Diamond Art Club offers. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and just have a quick peek for the drills. So how easy will it be to find them? Right, so here's an AB drill. Just in case you've never seen ABs before, it looks like this. It's got this special coating on it and it reflects the light and, and just like, it, it just adds glitz and accents to a painting and I really enjoy them. And then 
What else can I find? Here is a fairy dust drill. So it's like a sort of coral colour, isn't it? Now it's always hard to capture these through the um, plastic bag, but hopefully you can just about see a glitter effect. And I always like to point out, it's a sort of midway point between ABs and normal drills. It's got this subtle glittery effect and it's got that going for it compared to a normal drill, but it's not as in your face as ABs can be. Here's a couple more ABs. So there is the green and there is the white. And can I find the remaining, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> fairy dust drill? I think it's probably just a little one. And it's supposed to be a peachy colour based on the sticker sheet. It's not jumping out to me. I have to say, mm, where are you hiding? No, okay, I, I can't spot the other one. It probably means, well, it means one or two things. It means either it's quite a small bag and I overlooked it on that small strip, or more likely, I've looked right at it and not noticed it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to clear these drills away now anyway, but you can just, you can see them all spread out there. It really is the greens that stand out from this painting, I think. Oh, I just spotted it. There you are. It is a peach colour. Pretty, isn't it? Very nice. And actually quite a big bag of them, it turns out. So yeah, lots of greens and blues and then pops of bright colour. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, I am going to clear these away and then I'm going to look at the canvas. Okay, Diamond Art Club uses poured glue, which means that I can roll this kit back on itself and that's going to flatten it out nice and quickly for me. You can also do things like peeling back the plastic cover or because it has this self-flattening feature, you can just leave it lying out and it will, over time, um, flatten. Or people put them under books and things, but to be honest, you don't need to add that much effort. This is going to get it pretty flat, as you will see. Oh, I love it already just from what I'm seeing here. Okay, which way around am I? This way. Here we go. Wowza. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, the top section, I'm just going to pull the um, plastic cover back a bit to get it slightly flatter. You can just see that top section as well. Look at their little noses. <laughs> it is adorable. It, it actually is really green, isn't it? When I look at the picture of the artwork, I feel like it's blue and green equally. And then looking at this and having looked at the drills, it's a lot more green. It's funny how your eyes sort of play tricks with you with that kind of thing. But yeah. Oh, I love it. I love this cute little Christmas tree and the dove on top. There's just so many little details and swirls and baubles and it's so Christmassy. I really, really, really like this piece. Very glad I decided to buy it actually. This is the way it goes. Sometimes I'm umming and ahhing about whether to buy a kit and nine times out of ten, if I do, I do not regret it. Because Diamond Art Club just does such a good job rendering pieces. Like if you like the artwork, you're almost certainly going to like the diamond painting that they do. Okay, I will now pan over this so that you can see it all a little bit more up close and then I'm going to try and pick out where some of those special drills go and just give some sort of final thoughts on it. So yeah, I will be back shortly.
there it is. Um, yeah, in terms of confetti versus colour blocking, where confetti would be um, where, where you're going to have to change out the colour in your pen really frequently. That doesn't make sense. The colour in your tray very frequently because you're going to be doing a small amount of one colour and then a small amount of another colour. And then colour blocking being large sections of one colour which you can kind of whiz through. I would say that this is a reasonably high confetti piece. Um, I mean, Diamond Art Club does hand render things in such a way that they tend to smooth out a lot of unnecessary confetti. So most of their pieces aren't too bad for confetti, but I do see quite a lot of chopping and changing with this. Um, and you'll probably agree with me if you were looking at that pan over there. But it, it's, it's reasonable, it's not too bad. I like pieces that are a mixture and I get a bit too bored of working on a painting if it's too much one way or the other. So, I, I mean, I don't think this is high confetti, but it's possible it'll be one that I'll need to take the odd break from. And I'll bear that in mind for kind of when I start it next year. But it's really not too bad. There are some sections of block, like this will go quite quickly. And then in the outer section and these bits, there are some blocks of colour. Um, so yeah, not too bad overall. Right, special drills. So I've got one, two and a white dot. So the green AB, first of all, is a one code. Um, and that seems to be just sort of dotted around the place in little bits. Um, I see sort of patches of it kind of all over the place, really. Um, so yeah, that one's kind of everywhere. And then two is the symbol for the red AB and that one is all through this gnome's hat which I love and then little bits in this bauble and just where you see red there tends to be a little bit of it it's in this flower down here as well um, a little bit down here in the base of the Christmas tree a little bit spattered around and then the white one is the dot and that is right through this gnome's beard, which is fabulous. And then little dots of it around on a lot of these kind of, what do you call them? Well, I don't know, all these sort of swirly patterns and things. A lot of them have got a little bit of a white AB accent to them. Tiny bit up there as well, but there wasn't a huge amount of that one in the kit. And then the symbol P is the red fairy dust drill. And that again is in the flower and it's in the hat, a little bit less than the AB, but you've got two kinds of glitzy reds there to make that hat really pop out. And again, just wherever I see red, I see a kind of smattering of these drills. So they've been used fairly liberally. And then this symbol, whatever you want to call that, it's like a sort of division symbol, but the, the wrong way around, <laughs> is a peach colour. And a little bit there. Oh, it's in their noses. Their noses are going to have a little glisten to them. <laughs> it's outlining this flower. A little bit through the tree. And quite a bit through this hat as well. So, yeah. Good use of special drills throughout the painting, I would say. I, I tend to really enjoy the way Diamond Art Club renders their special drills. They usually get the balance for me just right in terms of having some of them in there, but not going OTT, because for my personal taste, I don't enjoy, you know, really blinged up paintings, like all crystal drills and all of that kind of thing. I know some people love doing that, that's, that's great. Um, that, I love that for other people, but for me, I prefer them to be a little bit, more um, sparingly used and I think with this they are throughout the painting but not really in big blocks of them ever apart from maybe the hat but I like that <laughs> so yeah there you have it that is Gnome for the Holiday and I'm very very pleased that I got this painting I'll check now if it's still in stock um, I think it went out of stock but you never know it could have been out of stock and come back in by now so I'll pop that up on the screen um, but if not they will restock throughout the year so if you like the look of this painting you can just put your email address in the, the, the relevant box when you look at this this painting on their website and they will email you when it comes back in stock so then you can pick it up in plenty of time for next Christmas if that is your plan okay 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this painting with me and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.